Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Monday Motivation. You already guessed it. Yeah, it's Monday. You clicked on the video and uh, it's Monday Motivation. We're here. Let's do this. So I'm actually going to be flipping the camera around so you guys can get in a, a little more bird's eye view, you know, of the situation here because, you know, we're walking through the center of town and uh, I think it'd be better for you to watch, um, you know, what's in front of me for now. And then I'll flip the camera back around once we're back into... Uh, the middle of uh, nowhere is Ville. All right, so yeah, guys, so today's episode is all about no regrets. No regrets. And, um, you know, I'm going to start it off easy for you guys, you know, the whole no regret situation. Basically, how it works is like this if you have something you regret right now, <clears throat> there's, then that means you got to go fix it. That's it. Any kind of regret, meaning, damn, I wish I would have done this, go do it. Damn, I wish I would have go talk to that person, go talk to them. Man, I wish I would have not done this and done that. Well, go go fix that. You know, there's a million things that you guys can do. Everything is in member. You're in control of everything. It's all about you um, being, you know, um, able to know and fully aware that you're the one that's in power. You're the one that uh, dictates everything. And that's basically it. So, you know, when it comes to, again, the no regret situation, you know, that's something that's very, very easy to, to um, you know, to rectify no matter what. The only time that you cannot rectify... The only time that you cannot rectify um, that whole situation of no regrets is by the time that you're in your deathbed. When you're on your deathbed and you're looking, you know, at death in the face and that's it, your life is already over and you really can't do anything about it, that is it, all right? That's when uh, game over, all right? And that's the thing, you know, most people don't realize, most people have no idea and most people don't realize that, you know, um, Having no regret. I mean, uh, sorry, man. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. But anyways, what I was saying is that you know most people realize, you know, of all the regrets that they actually truly have, the moment that they face death. You know, whether the death comes, you know, at a very old age, or you're at a deathbed at a very young age. You know, all of a sudden, you know, if you're out there, and um, you know someone tells you, hey, uh, you got cancer, you got some sort of uh, life illness, you got only a certain amount of time left to live. Um, you know, at that moment in time, that's when people are like waking up and they're like, oh my God, I can't believe that, um, you know what I mean? I haven't done anything with my life. I can't believe I didn't do this, this or that. I can't believe blah, blah, blah. And then all these regrets start, you know, coming about. And that's the thing, guys. You know what I mean? It's again, how do you have no regrets? It's like, you know, right now, you know what I mean? There's a bunch of things, you know, like this thing called the bucket list, you know, and a lot of you guys are waiting for, you know, X, Y, Z opportunity. To get these things off your bucket list, you know? Listen, man, you know, these you should be knocking things off your bucket list right now. You know what I mean? Like, I, I get it. <clears throat> you know, I got my own bucket list too. I got my own bucket list as well. And, um, you know, basically, you know, the only thing that are really like kind of like on my bucket list are just like an end result to a lot of the things that I'm going to end up uh, doing or what have you. All right, let me cross over here. So... Yeah, you know what I mean? It's really, it's it's uh, no regrets. It's something that you, you know, you have 1,000% control over. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Sometimes people don't know how to drive, even though... Uh... But anyway, so yeah, guys, so like I was saying, you know, the whole no regrets thing, you know, like... You know, even, look, I, I myself, I'm not, like, immune to that. There's plenty of things that I look at, you know, in my past that I'm like, damn, I wish I would have done that. You know, I wish I would have gone here. You know, I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have talked to that person. And and so, you know, sitting here at the age of uh, 38, I could simply say, you know what I mean? Like, oh my God, those opportunities have already passed. But the reality is, is that anyone that's lived to my age already knows that these things come in cycles and they're always going in circles. And, um, the thing is that if you didn't do it the first time, if you didn't do it the second time, if you didn't do it the third time, well then guess what? You know what I mean? You can do it the fifth time or the sixth time. There's always another time that you guys can do it. And that's the thing, you know what I mean? Like there's no more times when you're in your deathbed. That's when time's up. But in the meantime, you have plenty of time per se. You know, you really do it, but it's up to you. It's, it, but, and, and so, you know, again, if you mix together all the other motivational things that I'm always talking about, then, you know, you'll know how to, you know, reach that uh, goal of, um, you know, um, 
surpassing whatever it is you need to get over in order to you know motivate yourself enough to do what you need to do you know to me you know when it comes to you know just when it comes to like my case my life you know my situation you know what basically you know what led me to get to where i i've been is that you know i i've already you know gained and, and lost you know so many things and i've realized that you actually have so much more power than you actually think you do yeah i'm sorry i just want to switch it over real quick because you know you might get be getting the board of the same view there let me see if i can walk in the middle of the street a little bit all right but yeah you actually have a lot more power you know you have like all this crazy power that you know a lot of people just um you know kind of take for granted you know a lot of people like to cry and say woe is me and um you know a lot of people are always complaining and doing all these freaking things instead of just uh doing what they need to do you know in order to make sure that they don't have a life full of regrets you know i used to be an individual that had a life full of regrets you know for sure you know my life was definitely you know full of regrets all the freaking time and then all of a sudden i decided to start going after what i fucking wanted you know going after what i you know wanted to do what i wanted uh, out of my life and uh you know now i live a life of no regrets you know what i mean because i'm constantly chasing that dragon right chasing the dragon or whatever and all right let me go switch it back around but you know it's all about you know just chasing that dragon you know what is that dragon you know it's chasing life chasing excitement chasing uh you know chasing uh you know um life you know just ch going after life man you know that's basically it you know people that have regrets are just people that never you know um they never got what they wanted you know and the thing is that we all have the power to get what we wanted you know but you know maybe the thing is that a lot of people are unhappy because they're chasing something that they think they want but it's not something that it's what they want it's what society has told them that that's what they want or need or whatever and um you know a lot of us you know it takes a while for us to to um, get over that to uh to realize that but once you realize that you know once you realize the fact that you know all regrets are basically you know things that are fermented inside of you and inside your head and regrets regrets are just fear you know that that um that actually materialize so what I, what do i mean by that so when you let fear win instead of courage when you let when you let fear yeah <laughs> when you when you let fear dictate your decision making that's what causes regrets so what do i mean by that so for example you know there's like a pretty pretty girl you know hanging out and um at the bar and um you don't hit on her yeah sorry it's kind of loud very loud i can't hear myself thinking anyways okay so let's just say you're at a bar and you see a really pretty lady and uh, you don't hit on her and then later on you see her with um some guy that's even uglier and then that's when you realize like oh crap you know you you feel regret because you didn't do that you know what i mean you did not you know hit on her you did not go after that and that's basically what regret is you know what i mean regret is just basically you you know it's 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 you reminding yourself you know for so much for, you know for uh, how much of a big ass fucking uh, fearful pussy you were you know whatever i can't really think of a better term terminology there but you know that's basically it all regret is is just a reminder to you all right a reminder that you're giving yourself well, as you are looking back in your life and you're like fuck i should have done this i should have done that i should have done that and then again you know the the fear really sinks in the older you are because the older you are the more you realize like fuck all i had to do was just ask her out all i had to do was just uh do um you know um you know start the channel start the filming start um the business you know whatever it is that you it is that you had to do you know and that's the thing you know regret is is like the the worst i wouldn't i don't i don't i, would, I don't i do not wish regret on anyone regret is literally you know i'm um, your worst enemy man that's like the worst thing that could ever happen to you i mean you know I, i've you know how many people i've seen that are a lot older than me way older than me and they're constantly just sitting there um you know uh, as their life is withering away and just full of constant you know constant regret you know just constant regret it's always like man i should have done this man i should have gone on that vacation or trip man i should have talked to this person man i should have whatever you know what i mean that's basically always how i 
basically always how it, it works out. It's it's that, you know, like to me, it's like, you know, knock on wood here. Let me let me find some wood first, you know? Let me knock on wood here. I hope no one comes out, that would suck. But anyways, knock on wood, but like I don't, you know what I mean? Like I'm not a, what was I saying? Yeah, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, what was I saying? Like, what, what I was gonna say is that right now, you know, shit could happen, you know? Again, knock on wood, you know, like I knocked uh, on the wood there. Let me do it again, all right? There, more context. <laughs> knock on wood, nothing happens to me, but at the end of the day, if all of a sudden I were to die right now, tomorrow, whenever, um, I would be fulfilled and happy and uh, I'll be like damn I did so much with my life and uh, I just regret the fact that man I died so young and I couldn't do more but I, 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 I up until then I lived my life to the fullest I don't know if someone's looking at me through over there but you know knock on wood nothing happens to me but you know I don't have that regret situation when I was younger if you would have been asking me 10 years ago um, it, uh, do I have any regrets? I'm like, yeah, I have like a million regrets. You ask me today, today, do I have any regrets? My answer is a flat no. I don't have any fucking regrets, you know? The complete opposite. I, the, the last thing I have in my fucking uh, mind or my anything is any kind of regret or anything like that. It's, uh, it's more like... What the hell? A lot of noise coming from back there. But, you know, the fact that like it's the opposite, you know what I mean? Like I don't... I'm not filled with regret, you know what I mean? Are you kidding me? Every single day, I'm surprising myself now more and more and more because I, I've just, um, you know, I'm, I'm constantly up in the ante. You know, it's uh, it's more like, again, like I was just saying, I'm, I'm so I surprise more my, I surprise myself more on a regular basis now than anything else, and um, and that's like a beautiful fucking thing, you know, because it's like, even now, even now when um, I'm thinking to myself, you know. Um, about doing XYZ or what have you and um, and that fear starts kicking in I start getting a little I start getting a little fearful of um, of um, you know what I mean of the action I'm about to take and all of a sudden you know the, the one thing that really helps me jump that you know um, jump that hurdle is basically I just think to myself well if you don't do it you're just gonna be filled with fucking regret that right there takes away all the fear. It takes away all the fear that, that um, was uh, created um, that would not have allowed me to normally, you know, go on and, and do that action or, you know, go on and take those steps. And so, you know, basically, you know, what it, what it boils down to, you know, what, it, what everything ends up boiling down to is um, I just seriously just ask myself, um, you know, are you going to regret this? And if I, I, if I answer with, yes, I am going to regret this, then I do it. I do anything humanly possible in order to make that happen. Now, if I answer it, nah, I'm not going to regret this. All right. You know what I mean? Whatever. You know, move on to the next one. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, that's the way it happens. And then as you move past that, you're like, oh, crap, I am regretting it. Okay, but you know, if you are, if you realize later on that you did regret the action that you passed up that you weren't regretting at first, well, then guess what? At least, you know, you'll be, uh, let's do this. At least you'll be, um, you'll, you know, you'll be at least um, self-aware of the fact that you did regret it. And then the next time that you have that opportunity, if you regret it, it's on you. And, and you know, that could happen, you know, where you could pass it up again. And you know what? It's going to eat you up inside. And you know what you're going to do? You're not gonna pass it up the next time. If you do, you're a fucking moron, all right? But again, don't feel sorry for that. You know, don't be bad. Don't feel bad for, for being a moron. I've been a moron. You know, a lot of us have been morons. You know, but then at that point, once you realize you're a fucking moron, then hopefully, then then you'll fucking you know do what you need to do. But that's the thing, though. You know what I mean? Like that's why when I say you gotta make mistakes, you gotta fall on your face, you gotta go through a lot of shit in order for you to fucking really know. Um, you know, how to become self-aware, how to really grow from experience and all this other shit, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like how, how are you going to know if you're going to regret something or not if, um, if you haven't already made the mistake of passing up that opportunity or that situation? And that's it. Look, a lot of times it could be the other way around. A lot of times, you know, you are with, um, you know, you, you see the hot girl at the bed. Sorry, guys. A lot of noise. It's like rush hour, guys. It's like rush hour right now. 
But you know, a lot of times what will happen is that, you know, you'll be at the bar and you'll have the courage to hit on that girl. And then once you hit on that girl and you have an amazing night, and as you're dating the girl, then as you're dating that girl or guy, then it's like, then when you realize, oh shit, I made a mistake. And then you start regretting it. And it's the same fucking thing, you know what I mean? Like, well, are you really gonna, you know, you can only regret it as long as you wanna regret it. So what do I mean by that? You know, well, if you, if you are, um, if you continue going out with this individual that is only making your life miserable, then you're just gonna continue regretting it the longer you're with them. But if you break up with them early enough and you, you break up with them in time, well, there's nothing really to regret. You know, you, uh, you, you committed a, an error, you made a mistake by dating a person that was not right for you and um, you just learned from it. You did not con keep continue um, repeating the error and you did not continue to keep, uh, um, what you might call it, like being regretful of the decision that you made. Because again, all you really have to do, all you really, really had to do was, you know, just follow through on what you really wanted to do. It's not that difficult, guys. You know what I mean? Like, again, you know, what causes resentment? What causes hate? What causes a lot of these negative things? It has nothing to do with the outside world. It has everything to do with you and how you, you know, interact with the world, how you, you know, decide to go about things and how you, um, you know, just move, you know, uh, how you learn from all these mistakes and you learn from all these uh, regrets that are going to be a part of your life. But again, guys, you know, it goes back to, to what I was saying that, you know, you have full control. The only time that you don't have control over your regret stuff is once you're, uh, you know, so old enough or so sick that you can't do the things that you wanted to do um, that got you to regret those things to begin with. And that's it, you know what I mean? Like, all, regret is all built up by you, the individual. And um, like I said, you know, I had plenty of regrets myself. And, um, you know, when I realize, you know, how sad it is to be filled with regret. And then when you see other individuals that are, again, on their deathbed, that are, you know, um, you know, older, you know, they're already at that point in life where they can't do anything else about it. And you see the, the, the pain, the pain, the pain in their eyes that they can't do anything else about it. That's like the worst fucking feeling. If that shit doesn't get you motivated. I don't know what does. And, um, you know, the reason I don't have any problem talking about the old age situation here is because there's a lot of you viewers out there that are, you know, and you know, you're older, you know, you could be my grandpa and you know, and shit like that. But you guys are fucking, you know, living your life to the best of your ability. You guys are out there fucking kicking ass and taking names. You know, again, that's you know why you're watching my channel. You know, I'm not for the faint of heart. You know, I I, I, I induce heart attacks and fucking palpitations and all that shit, all right? Just, just uh, you know, just hanging out with me, you know? <laughs> but anyways, but the point is, is that, you know, there's a lot of you guys out there that, you know, um, have lived a life similar to mine or maybe got to this point in life um, you know, to to us, you know, to an age in life already where you're coming to get retired, and it's like, you know, you have the decision of what are you gonna do? You know, you're just gonna lay down and take it, and not, you know, um, you know, just wait for the Grim Reaper to come take you, or are you gonna fucking be living every single day that you have left on this earth like it's your last day on this earth? Because it probably is. You know what I mean? Uh, again, I'm just, but it could be for anybody. It could be for anybody. You know, again, I was uh, talking to somebody earlier today and I don't, I forgot the context of what we were talking about, but he pretty much just said, yeah, man, you gotta live life. Like, um, you know, like it's your last day, you know, like it's the last moments of your life. You gotta like enjoy every second. And he's young. He was like my age and shit. You know, again, I remember, I forgot the context. I forgot why we were bringing that up. But you know, to me, it's like, yeah, exactly. That's the right attitude to have. You know, that's it. You know what I mean? Like, we are going to make mistakes. We are going to commit errors. We, we, you know, we are, you know, the, all these things are natural parts of life. But one of the few things that we have control over, you know, like the list of other things that I've talked about that we have control over. But one of the main things that we have control over is regret. Okay, that's it. You know, that whole regret thing. If you're filled with regret, I mean, I'm telling you, man, it's not, it's because you're not doing things right. And in order to get that regret out of your life yeah you can tell i'm loud as fuck huh but in order to get um to get rid of that regret all you got to do is ask yourself what is 
What is the thing I'm regretful of? And then you gotta go and chase that. You gotta go after that. You gotta make that right. Again, you know, just like I was saying at the beginning of the, of the episode, you know, that regret could be a house you wanted to buy, a trip you wanted to take, um, an apology you wanted to give, um, a gift that you wanted to, to give somebody. It doesn't matter what it is. The point is that you, only you know what it is and only you know how to make it right. So stop listening to me, stop watching this fucking video and go take care of it, all right? And actually, see, you know, if you're still watching this, you know, I got Gary Vee coming up or some sort of uh, inspirational video and that's it, guys. I'm already here at the destination. So guys, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon and uh, don't forget to stay awesome. Thanks again. See you guys manana. Peace. When you see regret in a man's eyes, it's fucking painful. You should really go to a retirement home one day and volunteer and just talk to them. It will make you want to do shit every minute of your life because when you're 90 and you're not mobile and you're tired and it's over, you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't build that company you wanted. You can't spend that time with your kid. It's regret. And it fucking drives the shit out of me. How old are you? I'm 27. You got fucking time. It's a, it's a balance of regret and patience. Like you can go hard on for three years, do nothing right, wake up, and be young as fuck. The amount of people who are watching this right now, maybe even in this room, that are sad, men and women, that they didn't go for it, and didn't make the move, and didn't try, that regret is a hell of a lot longer and more painful and more drawn out than the instant rejection of going for it. It's just the way it is. Like, even if you think of random dumb stuff, like not asking out that person in high school or stuff, this stuff lingers. It's the stuff that you don't do that bothers you. And so for the purebred entrepreneurs in here that haven't decided to make that leap or take that at bat, I implore you to do so right away because this window closes too. And the one thing that I ask you to do is to not look back and regret that you wavered on the moment that was available to you. I think your biggest concern as you get older is you wanna make sure you're doing things for yourself, not to make him proud. And that's gonna be the toughest thing for you. The biggest poison in us is regret. Everybody here is already sitting with two, three, four things they can think of very quickly that they regret right now, already. You got a lot more life to go and right now you feel okay because you got a lot of life to go. But if you spend time with people in their 80s and 90s, the thing they will absolutely teach you if you really dig is regret fucking sucks. Go talk to 90 year olds. They regret. They talk about regret. I wish is the opening line. Go and volunteer in a nursing home because you're gonna see something that you haven't seen in such a pure state. You will face regret in a way that will fuck with you so hard that you will stay focused and on track for the rest of your fucking life. The number one thing that you will taste if you go to a nursing home is you will find multiple people that will talk to you about regrets in a way that will pierce your soul in a way that you've never felt before because they're actually in that place where time has run out. I just really think I really believe this from the bottom of my heart. I think we only live one time. And like, I, and, and we don't act like it. I just really wish people knew that they were gonna die. <laughs> Devin, like, how can you not stay motivated? Do you know that the odds of becoming a human being are 400 trillion to one? You gonna remember this? <laughs> Good. One fucking life. Me and Lambo are still here. Show's not over. Just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder to please check out the online store where you can find all kinds of awesome merch. Also, check out joseatiaga.com where, you know, it's the website for me and all this other stuff. So also, you know, check out Discord. It's an online community in which everyone, all my fans, hang out. Again, just, you know, look at the, click at the link in the bottom description of every video here um, where you can just join the community and join and continue the conversation where we talk about, you know, all this and beyond.
So please, don't forget to check us out there. Check me out on Instagram, check me out on Twitter, check me out everywhere. In fact, always look at the description of every video. You can find all kinds of stuff at the bottom of the description of every video. Again, I'm always giving you all kinds of goodness. So, you know, whether you're checking the description of the video or whether you're watching the next video, which you're gonna see some here now, you're gonna have all kinds of fun. So again, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys when you.